Hi, so this is going to be my part one of aligning material on your, um, well, for your 6550 laser. Um, I use this method for almost everything I do, including on my CNC machine, and I think you're going to find that this is so simple to do. Um, you have like this piece of wood, this piece of wood. I'm going to, this is going to be part one because my part two is going to be a little bit, a um, little more complex centering, which is still just as simple. So I'm going to show you these two first. I got a new microphone and I changed my camera so hopefully you can see it better. But I'm going to show you a foolproof method. Every time if you do this, you just can't go wrong. So I'm going to switch you over to the uh, laser. And I'm going to put these here. So on my machine here, um, I have this bottom platform that I created. It's a base and I did my square so I can just set my line. I know if it's going to be perfectly square on there. If you do not, and I have of course the side rails which I recommend. But for this example, a lot of you probably don't have that. So I'm going to just say, we're going to put this piece of board right here. I'm just going to pick a spot, any spot, doesn't really matter, just as if this would be you doing it. Now, I would recommend putting, um, let me move it forward a little bit, I would recommend maybe using some of these uh, glue dots that one of the gentlemen in the uh, groups told me about. They work great, they're just little sticky things, they hold it still, which I would recommend, just for this example, we don't need it, but um, again, this is why I have the rails, and however you see fit to hold your material there. So this is really easy. So the first thing you want to do with all of it that you do is measure the area that you want to burn. So the board may be 8 inches, it may be 10 inches, it doesn't matter, but I only want to burn within this area. But I actually only want to burn just a little bit within it, but anyway, I do not want to go past this no matter what. So I'm going to measure this, and this is really important. I have 8 and 3 quarter inches wide by six inches tall. So that's the main thing you need to know is the dimensions of the area that you want to burn. Nothing more, but exactly those. So eight and three quarters by six inches. So coming back over to your software, the first thing you want to do is create just that. You want to create yourself a frame that you're going to work within. And in this example, move this, we are going to come up here to the square and create a rectangle and we're just going to create one. doesn't matter what size, we're just going to drag and drop it. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to unlock the width and height. And the width was 8 and 3 quarters, so we're going to go 8.75 and the height was 6 inches. So now that is the exact dimensions of the square over here that I want to burn within. I do not want to go outside that and I'm going to be within that. So now that we have that, we're going to lock it up here. So now that it's locked, we're going to come back here and click the select arrow and now it's selected. So now we can look up here, it's 8.75 by 6 and that is our working area. So let's move this, go to arrange, move selected objects to the lower left. That's where I like to work from the lower left side out in the next video of a little bit more complex centering you're going to see a little bit different so now that we have it here come up here and click the zoom to frame selection and this square here is our working area we know now that this is the exact size of the surface area that we want to laser on so any work that we do, any designs, drawings, pictures, whatever we want, it doesn't really matter, it will be within this square. Never go outside of this square. If you go outside of this square, it's going to go outside of your board. So now that we have that and we know that, how do we know our laser is going to be lined up with exactly where we want it on here? It could be anywhere. Since there is no homing um, switches, we have to tell it ourselves where the home's going to be, where we want it to start at, and that's defined as a user origin. So figure the user origin as a, um, like a home, not a home switch, but a homing position. So first thing we need to do is have your fire button on over here. If, you, if your 
software does not have the fire button on, which default it does not. Just go up to edit, go down to device settings, and then come over here to enable laser fire button. And just turn that on, and then click OK, and that will enable your fire button. Um, I personally like to set the power to 1% because all we're doing is just going to have for testing purposes. And so you should have that there now and have it set at 1%. one percent. So let's go over to cut layers and this layer here, I'm sorry, this frame that we made is going to be on the first layer. So your settings are going to be totally different. So the easiest thing to do is double click that layer, come down here and choose reset to default. And it's just going to set everything back to the defaults. So if we had something different, it doesn't matter, we're going to start over. So let's give it a name called frame and speed will just choose 100 speed it's fine you can choose any speed you want um, you'll see why and power is 1% and we can just leave it at one pass for right now and then click OK so now this frame is going to run at 100 speed and at only 1% power so it's not going to really cut anything it's not going to do anything except just put a light on the board which is exactly what we want so let's come down here to move and let's turn on our machine. It doesn't really matter where the laser head is right now. As you can see, it doesn't matter, but let's turn the machine on. So now that the machine is on, what I would recommend is move your laser over to approximately where you want it. But I'm gonna say the bottom left hand side. And let's say this is stationary at this, at this point. I'm gonna show you just one example of why it's important to make sure this is square and that you have it square. I'm gonna have it off square just to show you this. So now that we have it on, if we come back here and we click fire, you'll see the laser lit on the board here. And it's not doing anything because it's only a 1% power. However, it's not where we want it. We want it to be the bottom left here because that's where our starting point is going to be. So I'm going to slowly move the laser to the bottom left corner, pretty much right on it, right there. So let's, now that we have it dead on that corner, let's turn the fire button off just for safety reasons. So technically, that is going to be our quote unquote home position. It's going to be our origin. It's going to be our user origin. It's going to be where we want the machine to start. So now that we've done that, I like to come down here to devices and you right click. If you right click, you'll notice here, disconnect your laser and then reset your laser and gives you a position of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So now your software thinks that your machine is at the quote unquote home position, um, origin, however you want to call it. And so we're going to click set origin. So now the software thinks that's where it's supposed to be. And if you want to just test it, you can move up, move your laser up, and then just say, come back down here to go to origin. And it should go right back. And you can turn on your fire and it should be right on the corner which it is perfectly on the corner of that. So I'm gonna turn it back off, I'm going to turn the fire off. And so now what we're gonna do is, the reason why we did this frame, let me come back in here again. The reason why we did this frame is because we wanna tell the laser head to go around this frame at a speed of 100 with only 1% power, so it's not gonna really do anything. We're just going to be able to watch the light, go around here, and make sure it's exactly where we want it. And over here on the um, here. over here on the laser, we want this laser to follow our edge that we measured perfectly all the way around to see if it is where we think it is. So let's just click start. And as you can see, the laser it's already off. It's already off a little bit because I made it off for you. So it's right to the corner. And now it's up. But in this instance, if I move this up to square, where it should be, you'll see that if I had it square in the first place, so now I'm going to start it again, and it's still a little low. Let me, let me just, shouldn't really move it while it's on, but um, anyway, so this is the left, so it looks like it's off a little bit, So you can see it's coming right down the edge, it's pretty close. And it looks like it's a little bit high. So, 
probably shouldn't move your wife to running, but the best thing to do is, that's why I said place your board exactly where you want it to be and stick it there and make sure it's square. So we're going to start again. We're going to start right back over. We're going to click fire and make sure the laser is directly on that corner where I want it and it is exactly where I want it. And I happen to know mine is square because of the lines I have on my board here. So now I'm going to tell it to start again and now watch where it goes. So run right along the bottom line. It's going to run right up the edge. And now if you notice, it did go a little over the edge there. So, and then straight down the edge here. So it might not be quite six inches tall. I'm going to run it again. You can't run it enough to, to be correct. Actually, it actually looks like it's up a little bit. So I'm going to think I'm going to adjust it down just a tad. The best thing I would recommend would be to move in the laser. If, if your board is stationary, you can move the laser just a little bit by hand. You could press the fire button. You can see that you're still on it. You want to move a little bit by hand. And then I'm going to turn the fire off and tell it to run again. As you can see, it's closer to the edge now. But I'm not going outside of that edge. That's what's important. If you do this for every project you do, it's right on it. You can't go wrong. So now, I'm right on that edge. And coming back to the software, now this square is exactly where my laser thinks it is going to be working within that side. And if you'll notice down here at the show last position down here and you turn show last position, the laser, your, your software thinks the laser is right here and your work area is the bottom left as well. So by using that method, it doesn't matter how big your square is, whatever, the area that you create here and watch that laser go around is pretty much going to tell you where you are going to um, start or burn within that area. Two things to note is um, down here under the laser section, make sure your start from is user origin and make sure the bottom left is the bottom left down here. If you were going to do it in the middle, it would actually move this in the middle of your square and it will start burning the middle, which is for my next video. But in this one, we are measuring from the bottom left. We did it from the bottom left. So now anything I put in here is going to be within that area and you can't go wrong. So I'm going to run it one more time before I go and you'll see how I know exactly now my alignment is going to be perfect. Looks pretty good. I hope this helps uh, help you line some of your projects. Um, look forward to showing you part two a little bit different, same concept, a little more complicated. Have a great day.